side what so proudly we felt as the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the Still there, oh, say the that starts bangled banner yet wave for the land and of the free and the home of the Thank you. Big hand, big hand. Thank you so much. Uh, to the brave men and women overseas fighting to defend our freedoms, that we support you, we admire you, and we thank you. Our military has opened their ears and are waiting to hear such words. Today, we send to them this message. Your bravery is our strength. Your courage is an inspiration. Your sacrifice shall never be forgotten. Your bravery has brought you an end to an end and has disrupted terror cells and your determination has brought down Osama bin Laden to justice. It is your bravery that has protected America from future terror and we thank you for those sacrifices. And today we are the best of Brooklyn we are the best of New York City. We are the best of America. We must always remember the fact that we are at war because we were attacked here at home, just miles from where we stand today, in an attack that robbed the families of our communities here in Marine Park and across this great city and state of their loved ones. For our troops fighting as we speak, we must pray for them, raise our right hand in salute, and be proud of them. For when they come home, our flag will still be there, our freedoms will still be ours to enjoy, and our democracies will continue to govern because they left. At deployment ceremonies in which I attended, I saw that look of determination I see it in their eyes of our servicemen and women, that sense of courage in their faces, and that love for this nation in their hearts, as they went without hesitation to fight to protect us, the American people, because of an attack that happened here in New York City on the morning of September 11, 10 years ago, at the World Trade Center. They left in the same spirit and with the same love of our nation. As exhibited after the flag was raised in Iwo Jima, when a U.S. Marine, James Bradley, wrote, I had something to do with the raising of an American flag, and it was the happiest moment of my life. For if we are not afraid to live under our flag, we cannot be afraid to defend it. And that, my fellow Americans, is the mission of the Armed Services of America. The defense of our nation lies in their very able hands. They are an honorable, humble, and noble class of people. We are safer for their efforts of our military, and we must remain vigilant to protect ourselves here at home. And that's why we ask that God continue to watch over all of our heroes and their families. And may God continue to hear 
the prayers of the families of that safe return of their loved one. And may God continue to bless the greatest country in the world, the United States of America.